I need to have a talk with my mother. All right, all right. Well, we've had a good time here on the open mic night, and uh, we've got one more for you. Are you ready for your uh, last open mic tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right. She's the only lady on the show right now. Give it up for Sheila Nafee. You know, I'm feeling pretty special tonight because I had a black comic come just to see me. Yeah, I was so touched. I told him something he'd never heard a woman say before. Tonight, when I get on stage, will you watch my purse? <laughs> see white people looking around nervously. Well, aren't they here? <laughs> yeah, but they're in the back of the bar. It's okay. No, I. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty comfortable because I know a lot of you people in the audience. Probably because I'm a criminal attorney. <laughs> I feel like I need to be passing my cards out because I know a bunch of y'all are going to get pulled over after the show. <laughs> Look at you and a drug dealer want to see one. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Yeah. No, I am a criminal attorney. I do the normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill, okey-type crimes. Like DUIs, making a meth lab, <laughs> blowing a meth lab up. <laughs> Bestiality? <laughs> Is it? You would know, sir. Oh, wait. Okay. Is it still bestiality if you just lay there and the animal does all the work? <laughs> oh, and uh, by the way, it's not entrapment just because you put peanut butter up there. <laughs> yeah. My boyfriend, he says that's old school. He uses Nutella. <laughs> And I know you guys didn't come to the loony bin just to get schooled on how to get farm animals attracted to your genitals. I know that's weird, but that hayseed right there, he's writing this all down. <laughs> he's like, how do you spell Nutella? <laughs> you know, it's been a really horrible week in the news. I mean, what happened at the Boston Marathon was so tragic, but I was glad the first responders showed so quickly. You know, Oprah, Kevin Costner. <laughs> yeah, and uh, all they got was a pat on the back. You know, they didn't get near the reward the first responders from Hurricane Katrina got. You know, flat screen TVs. <laughs> um, and what was, what was that other news story that was ridiculous? It's like that backwards ass town in Georgia that had their first integrated prom ever. Is that ridiculous? And those redneck jackholes, you know, they still held a private, whites-only prom? I mean, can you imagine the douchebaggery of the white hat-wearing little pricks that went to that one? I don't know. Um, but the one good thing about that prom is, you know, that halfway through, they didn't run out of great Kool-Aid. <laughs> and they didn't have to worry about locking their doors. <laughs> oh, that was insane. I'll tell a worse one now. Okay. <laughs> Y'all ever, ever got that friend that's just not quite good looking enough, but you still hang out with her, you know, just so you could get hit on? <laughs> Y'all women know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, and I had this friend, she was so ugly that last summer, she caught mange. <laughs> and it was so bad, we didn't really know how to explain it to her. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. When, uh, when she finally got the hint, she was so pissed, she dropped her butt on the carpet and scooted away. <laughs> She's got a lot of bad physical traits, let me tell you. She's got one leg that's shorter than the other. So when her and her boyfriend were having sex, he took her legs and put them behind her ears, and her left eye popped out. So now she's got to wear a patch. And it's not one of those cool black patches with the strappy thing. It's one of those milky white looking ones with the tape that pulls up around the edges. She's got a face only a mother could love. A mother with cataracts. <laughs> and by the way, she's starting to get those too. For her birthday, I got her a chew toy. <laughs> and a parrot. 
Anyway, I had a really bad... Okay, before I leave, I want to say that I hate that my gynecologist is all thumbs. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I don't hate it. You know, of course, sometimes I think he's coming on to me. Medical reasons to look up there my ass. He could make me feel a little better when I go into the office. It's like, dim the lights. Or instead of those cold stirrups, replace them with Pete Fuzzy handcuffs. Hmm. Or uh, shake it up once in a while, throw in a butt plug. <laughs> Hell, that's why I like my dentist so much. <laughs> Thank you guys very much.